Hey guys, Mom's Kirby OK here today. I'm um, bringing you a, a team deathmatch or domination on Castle. And uh, today, me and my friend Derek uh, introduce yourself. Yo guys, what's up? This is Derek. And uh, we will be talking about some good World at War, uh, some good World at War class setups. Uh, it's kind of late, but some Wii players actually play this game because uh, you know on Xbox and PS3 is hacked left or right. So, all right. Um, so, uh, what's one of your favorite class setups, Derek? Uh, my favorite class setup would have to be the uh, the STG44, I believe it is. Yeah. With uh, a sleight of hand pro, or sleight of hand pro, sleight of hand on it. Yeah. And sometimes stopping power. I like to use it in hardcore a lot because it's a one shot kill. Oh, really? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, the SGG-44 is like the uh, World War II version of the AK-47, which uh, it's, it's, really, it's a really cool gun. Yeah. I don't think you can suppress it. Could you suppress it or no? Um, you can't suppress it, but there's a flash hider for it. Yeah, okay, then there you go. Um, but uh, my favorite class setup is uh, Car 90 AK with a sniper scope. Um, and I usually use bouncing buddies because of uh, people like to you know sneak up behind me. And uh, like to kill me, so he's bouncing buddies, uh, stopping power because it's hard to aim above the chest on Wii. And uh, I uh, use either uh, Dead Silence or um, what's the other perk? Uh, not Hacker. Um, third perk. Oh, I use a uh, Second Chance sometimes because I'm a noob, so <laughs> <laughs> I like screwing around with Second Chance in the game. I mean. Well, Bandolier is pretty good for all the classes because uh, you will be running around or sniping, same thing. Because uh, Bandolier also gives you sniper, more sniper bullets and stuff. Um, and Derek, do you snipe a lot? Or? Uh, I used to be a big time sniper, but since I switched over to uh, Black Ops and started using the classic controller, um, I'm not much of a World at War sniper anymore. But, I, I mean, if I played with the sniper for a day, by the time, by the end of the day, I could be back to how I used to be with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know, I know you feel there. Um, uh, yeah, I used to be really, really good at sniping, and I didn't really have to use aim assist back then, but now I actually have to because of a uh, lag shooting and um, just the lag in general, and, you know, getting used to black ops, having no lag shooting. Yeah, the, the lag shooting is uh, rather annoying, and making the switch between Black Ops to World at War, where uh, Black Ops didn't have the lag shooting, it really kind of messed you up. Yeah, and you can also use a class controller in there, so you didn't really have to do anything. You, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, pretty good, you know, we didn't have to... What you call it, you didn't have to uh, learn how to aim with the Wii Remote in that game, you actually could just get a class controller and just, you know... If you came from the Xbox PS3. Yeah, I actually started off uh, before I knew you could. It was uh, classic controller compatible. I went the first two or three months using uh, only Wii Remote. I knew it was class controller. I just didn't really have a class controller at the moment. And once I got it, I really didn't use it until maybe last month, maybe. And then I started. I loved it. Now, I, now I use it a lot. But uh, really sucks though, because sometimes I have the days where I have to go to Reflex and get good games because of it. I'm used to the Wii Remote for that one day or something. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, really crazy crap. I mean, how Treyarch could have not... They could have put... They could have put the class controller in a... In a World at War. I'm not sure about Reflex, but I know they could have put it in World at War. Yeah, that was, that was a... That was that first game, though. That was uh, three years ago. Yeah, so they probably didn't think about it. They didn't think anybody would be using the controller... And of course, they wouldn't want to make their first Wii game uh, a class, uh, just a class controller thing, because the Wii's main point is motion control. Yeah, people wouldn't be too happy with that. Yeah, because then people have advantages. Because I'm sure they'd have some advantages in that game if you use class controller. Yeah, the uh, advantages in Black Ops with the class controller way outweigh the uh, Wii yeah, remote. Yeah, Wii remote. You only can the only advantage on there is you can easily knife and uh, you can move freely. Uh, uh, if you guys ever uh, run into a, a domination game game on World at War, um, I really recommend the use of a bandolier or a, what you call them, uh, bouncing buddies, because you can put the bouncing buddy on the flag and have them 
have it blow up if people are uh, on the flag. Um, Derek, what time are where? Uh, what time are we in the commentary right now? Uh, five ten. Oh wow. Um, and uh, those first perks. What first perks we have here? We have stop and power. We have uh, camouflage, which is good if you are planning on doing search and destroy. And uh, I'm sure that, but uh, we the we players really don't know what to, uh, I'm talking about here because we don't have search and destroy. Yeah, I, I was yeah. really kind of not happy that they didn't put the all the game modes in. Yeah, because uh, Reflex was my first game, so I was expecting World at War to have all those game modes in there. Uh, and I got in there, I was like, really, come on, Treyarch, come on. Yeah, I, I got my Wii in the uh, end of 2009, and if I had known that um, Wii was backwards and released World at War first, I probably would have gotten Reflex over World at War. Yeah, because when I got, if, I mean, if somebody had World at War first and got Reflex, that'd be a major upgrade. Because all the new game types, I think the hit detection was a teeny bit better, not that much, so. Yeah, I started off with World at War, and I borrowed Reflex from a friend, but I didn't get too far into the game. I only got to play a couple online games. Does he still use that game? Uh, No. He he doesn't use it. Um, I've been asking if he would sell it to me, but uh, his brother won't let him. <laughs> He'd probably sell it for at least thirty dollars. Kind of weird though. I mean, fifty dollars is huge for the game because not much people play it anymore. Yeah, fifty can be a waste. Yeah, I mean, World at War for we at least probably has seven hundred people on it a day. I mean. Maybe. I, I know there's more than 500 people because I can find a match in a couple seconds, but... Like, yeah. It's, like, it's not like the Conduit 2, you know? Conduit 2 has maybe 300 people. Conduit 2 really varies. It's like, some days it'll have a lot of people on, and then some days it'll just kind of be like, dirt and no one's there. Yeah. I wonder if anybody plays the first Conduit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably not anymore. I mean, I'm sure there's that one random person I'll still play it, but that game is so glitchy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you spawned like, outside I, the map when you freaking start out and you can't even do anything. I have uh, Call of Duty 3 for a PS2, which yeah. PS2 being the uh, under under system, not very many people played it in the first place. They were all Xbox 360 by that time. And, uh, yeah. Call Call of Duty 3 on there, I can still pick up a couple matches, which is uh, honestly pretty surprising to me. Yeah, because, I mean, maybe in 10 years you probably won't find any matches, because probably what they're going to do is uh, do what they did with the TVs, you know, I made them a digital instead of a analog, you know? Yeah. So they're probably going to do that, so it's probably just going to happen to where in 10 years from now, they're going to say, buy this console or you're excluded from all the games. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of how it is uh, with the Wii. The Wii is kind of getting the uh, understatement, and it's kind of just being pushed out. Yeah, and then when Wii U comes out, that's what's going to happen. Is it's going to divide the Wii U versus against the Wii, which is going to really take me off. Yeah, uh, I can't. I can't wait for the Wii U to come out. Yeah, because it will be looked up to. Yeah, like I probably won't get it because it's supposed to be a uh, pretty expensive from what I've yeah, heard. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I'm not. I probably won't get it, but it will make that statement that's like, ha, Xbox and PS3, look. Yeah. <laughs> look at them, see how, see how they like it now. Yeah, like, uh, I don't really have a problem with PS3 people, but a lot of X people... Yeah. Hey there, Derek. Yeah. I can barely hear you. <laughs> hey, guys. Alright, right, you there. there. Oh hey, cool. We're in the middle of a commentary, so whatever. <laughs> oh. So we got a su we got a surprise guest here, funk your face, I guess. So. Hi there. Alright, so. Thirty seconds left here. All right, so guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, and Derek recorded this thankfully for him, cause uh, my MP3 player isn't really. I mean, my MP3 recorder is not working right now. So. MP3 yeah. Uh, <laughs> see you guys later. Um. Look forward to some more gameplay tomorrow. Um, see you guys. Right. See you guys. Later. See ya. Alright.